Mambo Team Africa Worldwide. Habariya Sabui, Habariya Machana, Habariya Gioni. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Uh, just uh, decided to uh, do a post because I haven't done one in a while. Um, people who think that uh, being a YouTuber is easy, I'm going to tell you it is not. It is uh, time consuming and, and I actually have been taking the easy way out. I haven't um, put up any videos that require editing uh, as of yet. Um, um, I'm working on having an a, a intro, a graphic and a music intro that's in the works. Uh, my cousin um, in uh, Cali is a producer. His name is Blake Monk. That's my dude. Um, he, he's worked on the beat, and um, we're about to uh, have this intro. But I uh, do know this is work. This is work, and um, combined with the work I do with We Charge Colonialism and uh, just trying to be on my, my, my daily survival grind and dealing with elderly parents, um, just that, you know, I get to a point where two, three weeks, four weeks have gone by, and I haven't posted the video, so... Uh, bear with me on that um, but what I really want to talk about is Swahili um, um, Key Swahili that is um, I have changed the name of the channel from Team Africa Worldwide to um, Team Swahili Worldwide uh, only on YouTube on IG is still Team Africa Worldwide um, right now I'm just riding around the D uh, because uh, there is nothing to do Hella bored. I get cabin fever very easily, um, and um, that's one of the reasons why I want to be in Africa because the, there is no freezing winter and that forces you to stay in the house. Um, but you know, a few things on my mind. Um, I try to tell people that um, repatriation to Africa is the way to go. Now, don't get me wrong, I know that we are still here, and while we are still here, uh, you know, we need to uh, make sure that our rights aren't encroached upon even more than they already are on a daily basis. So we, we can't completely um, just divest from the situation until we leave. But emotionally, I'm, I'm, I'm divested from this place. Let me tell you something. I, I live in Detroit. Um, I've spent the majority of my, my years in Detroit, even though I've lived other places. Um, and, um, you know, no matter what people want to say, no diss to any other cities. Um, and I don't love Detroit the way I used to, is so what I'm about to say is fact. Um, Atlanta is not the blackest city in the U.S. Um, Washington, D.C. is not the blackest city in the U.S. Detroit, Michigan is the blackest city in the U.S. Um, and because Detroit is the blackest city in the U.S., we always, always, always uh, get a negative media attention. Um, and so don't think this is the best place, the, the worst place on earth, even though I no longer um, want to be here. I mean, if I, if I stay in um, the U.S. Um, longer than I want, then... I will uh, go forward with um, relocating uh, to the southeast um, prior to repatriation. And um, I, I've dropped videos about my, my uh, new Nubia plan where I'm suggesting that if black people uh, don't immediately uh, move back to Africa, then we should at least uh, move back to the southeast where over 50% of African people live. Um, so that we will have uh, more political and economic clout. That just makes sense. Being spread out here in Detroit, New York, California, Texas, it just really makes no, no sense. Uh, we need to all be basically between Maryland and Georgia or even far as Louisiana. Um, all of those states have at least a 19% African American population. But um, you know, I just want to let people know that when you see, whatever you see in the media, whatever you see them promoting a lot, that's what you want to um, run away from. 
whenever you see them um, really dogging out, yeah, you know, dogging out, that's what that's what you want to check into. You know, um, the reason that they they just totally dog Detroit out um, is because they don't want the city to do well. Um, and you know, for the first time uh, in my life, um, there is a, a European mayor. Um, but and so because of that, you know, there was a real estate developer um, who um, you know bought up most of the property downtown and leased it out. And so downtown and midtown have um, have a resurgence, but they haven't done anything um, with neighborhoods. And um, we got some good organizations in Detroit, like New Era, um, that are doing positive things. But you have to know that, yeah, you see those neighborhoods that are raggedy and, and run down uh, in Detroit, but they never show you the good neighborhoods. Detroit is so big that if you were to take all of the good neighborhoods, like Palmer Woods, Sherwood Forest, North Rosedale, Indian Village and on and on. If you took all of those um, top neighborhoods and put those neighborhoods together, they'll be bigger than some of the so-called major cities. I I'm willing to bet if you put all the good neighborhoods together in Detroit, that it will form a city larger than Boston. So we have to know that whenever you see all this negative, 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 negative TV coverage um, about Detroit, it's, it's just about to about making black people look bad. And when other Africans talk bad about Detroit, they don't realize you're talking bad about yourself because this is the city. In fact, it's to the point where Detroit is cold for black. So when you when you join in and that and you and you dog out this city, then you know you you're dogging yourself and, and, and you don't even know it because um, they want um, Detroit to fail um, in order to prove that we have no ability to govern ourselves. Um, that was the real reason why Amazon didn't put their second headquarters in Michigan. They were talking about um, there's not enough talent in, in Detroit. Um, and, it, we, and most of these jobs are damn jobs. Most jobs, even if, if it's a so-called professional office job, most jobs you can teach a person to do in three weeks. You know, these jobs aren't that complicated. But they want to um, spin it, oh, we don't, you don't have the talent there, so we're not going to even put you in the short list of top ten cities that we consider it. No, they knew that if they were to put a venture of that size in Detroit, that um, black people would start to um, come up financially the way that we were when the, we had the automotive industry and the music industry here. Um, uh, it was a time where um, when General Motors and uh, was the number one employer and we had Chrysler and, and and Ford, which are all still here, but they just operate at a much smaller scale than they did back in the uh, 50s, 60s, 70s, and 80s. And they, they started really going down in the 80s. And, um, but they never want us to have that type of economic power again, you know. Um, so that's that's what it's all about. So always know that with anything you see in the media, anything you see in the media, if they're promoting it, run away from it. If they are dogging it out, it's something that you should check into and, and, and try to figure out um, why they are speaking so negatively on this person, this place, or this particular thing. Um, so I'm going to keep this video short. I'll make another one. I feel like I was rambling. Uh, um, I'm just basically probably going to name this one um, How to View the Media. But um, I'm going to also put up some other ones uh, more um, uh, Swahili specific. But I just wanted to get back um, on uh, the, uh, the network and in, 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 in just chop it up with, with the team Africa Worldwide family um, and, and because I've been missing the action for a little while and so I need to uh, get back get back on my grind well um, if you uh, like what you hear from me 
um, please check out my other videos please um, like my videos please share my videos please subscribe to this channel and also um, click the bell so you will be notified when I have new videos and uh, with that being said uh, in the uh, Kiswahili words of goodbye for now Kwaheri Kwasasa